What's good everyone? Today's video, we are going to go through every single pack in Master Duel to figure out exactly what deck you guys want to build so you guys know exactly where you need to go to build exactly what you need to play. So, if you guys saw one of my last few videos, I built Endymion with literally the best pack opening I have ever seen in my entire life. I pulled 15 hollows, full 4 mighty masters, spell power mastery like 15 secrets it was unbelievable so i know i wanted to play endymion so i went through the endymion pack and i pulled everything so in this video if you guys want to build anything you want to play dark magician you want to play zephras we're going to go through every single set in the all of duel links so you can see exactly just off the top so you know what to get and where to get it. even if you don't know of course you can just go on, on search of course you can go to search because if you go to search You'll be able to see very easily, oh, I can find this. But sometimes you don't even know what you want to find. So we're going to go through everything right here, right now. Did I say Duel Links by accident? I'm at Master Duel. Let's go. <laughs> so the first one over here is a Dark Magician set. So uh, in the Dark Magician set, you do get mainly Dark Magician cards, but you also get Magician Souls. So I'm going to treat this as if you're just logging on to Duel Links right now. Oh, I can't really see in these glasses. I can't ask for trip accounting, nerd trip. This is a party trip, baby. Let's go. Shades in the building, baby. Let's go. So if you want to play here in Master Duel, if you want to, if you're one of those people that just love Dark Magician, and want to play it, go for it. You'll play Dark Magician, it'll be awesome. Good for you. But there's also Magician Souls. So this could come up for if you're trying to play a pendulum deck and you want to pull this Magician Souls. And if you're just gunning for URs and SRs to craft, so the way this that, that works, you, if you want to build a deck, figure out which pack has the deck you want to build. Okay, for example, this Neo Space Comrades. Let's say, for example, you want to play some Neo Space deck. So you need Neo Fusion in your deck, just for example. So that means start with Neo Fusion. Start. You want to play Connector, for example. Start with this. Build your core, and then all the SRs and URs you get, you trade by crafting. The way crafting works, it's so broken. Let's say I pull three Elemental Hero Brave Neos. I could then trade three SRs for any SR staple I want in the world. So. The best way to deck build on Master Duel is figure out the exact deck that you want to play. Figure out the exact deck that you want to play. Just figure it out. Let's say you want to play Legends of Old. You want to play something in Legends of Old. Okay, I'm going to go back. Fairy Tale Snow comes in this, by the way. Yes, Fairy Tale Snow is at three. It's absolutely ridiculous. So you click feature cards. Let's say you, you want to play uh, an Ancient Warrior deck, but at the same time, you also want to play Fairy Tale Snow on your BA deck. So if you want to do this, it's very important that you look through all of this so you know exactly which packs to get. So, we already went through the first pack of Dark Magician. If you want to get Dark Magician or Magician Souls, it comes in Darkest Magics. We're going to go through every staple that comes through here, so it's a very good video. I highly recommend staying tuned, to, staying tuned till the end. Also, before we continue, before we continue, I do want to mention to everyone, I'm officially relaunching my Patreon in Incredible Ways Master Duel format. I'll be posting a video on Patreon every single day about Master Duel gameplay, utilizing so many different decks between Magicians, Endymion, I'll be playing a little bit of Eldritch, so many different versions of Pendulum, Zephra, PandFTK, so many different cool decks that I intend to build every single deck in meta history when it's all said and done on this game. So if you guys want to help support building every single Pendulum deck ever, make sure to go sign up on Patreon right now because you'll get access to literally seven duels a week on Patreon commentated by me. All right, let's go. So Neo Space Comrades. Neo Space Comrades, as we mentioned, has Neo Space cards. And the only card I could mention that's like an insane staple would be Neo Fusion and Connector. This is, will come up if you're planning to play a Soul Day or any Warrior deck. Rapid Aircraft Advancement. So this card, could, this set could come up for a multitude of ways. This, if you want to play a Machina deck, any, any machine deck, there's a lot of them. Also, there's O Line, which O Line is not banned. And Oradon. So Oradon and O Line this is absolutely incredible. So keep this in mind, all YouTube and all Twitch, if you want to build that. So far, I don't see anything that interests me. I don't care about machine. I don't care about. Do I look like I play Machina? Do I look like I play Machina? What, what deck do I look like I play? Let me know in the comments. What deck do I look like I play? I don't play no Machina. Maybe, maybe I play UAs. Maybe I play UAs. You feel me? Maybe I play UAs. But, no, I don't play UAs. I look at this, and there's nothing I want here. There's nothing I want here. Maybe FA Auto Navigator, if I want to play some Metal Foes FA deck. 
Uh, the only deck I play here is Pendulum. So I, what I'm doing is I'm literally going through the, all the motions to figure out where are my negates. A dragster is a tournament athlete, but there's really nothing I want. So far in the first four sets, none of them interest me. So why would I spend my hard-earned gems on any of these first four packs that they just don't interest me? So this is why it's important to watch this whole video so you can know exactly where everything is. So this one... Damn for show sure interests me, baby, because all the Zephyrs come in here. So I was just about to spend all my URs. Save your UR gems, guys. Save your UR gems because your UR gems are going to be used to get staples that are difficult to get and random one ofs and random sets that are difficult, like a Magician Souls or Extra Deck. But don't spend your UR and SR tickets on Zephyr because you might as well just spend all of your actual gems on Zephyrs. Do you guys get that logic? Don't craft out uh, don't craft out deck skeletons. Try and actually pull the deck skeletons because you get the most value from it. And all the extra URs and SRs you can use for like the very last. Let's say you have two Zephyr Providence, two Oracle Zephyr, and two Zephyr. Well, at the end of it, you can just sell your SRs and other URs to get the rest of it. Also, it would be cool to have some shit all cards. And this has all the Zephyr cards. So instantly, in my eyes, I'm like, okay, instantly, off the top. Enchanted Threads of Sales. I am literally... I'm going to whale this pack until I get all the Zephyrs. Now we're going to see Roaring Thunder. Roaring Thunder, Colossus is legal. This is going to be huge. I even thought about playing Thunder Dragon Pendulums. Because if you play three Thunder Dragons, and then you activate Thunder Dragons effect, the Pendulum summon two Thunder Dragons, one of the Thunder Dragons can turn, turn to Colossus. The other Thunder Dragon is a free Link material. That is pretty, pretty incredible, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so for this one, if I want Colossus, it's just a one of and I don't, Thunder Dragons are rare, so I'm not going to put money into this. I'm just going to go ahead and get, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and, and uh, staple, get them, because it's very easy. Colossus at one is absolutely insane. Uh, so next, we're talking about Exquisite Jet Black Rose. So over here, it looks like a lot of Black Rose cards. None of this interests me, but there's some good uh, staples here. But this is good. Like, why would you, like, spend, imagine you randomly just... Exquisite Jet Black Rose. I'm going to go ahead and put in 5,000 gems in here. No, don't do that. Watch this video. Look through all of these. You'll know exactly what you want. Salamangre. All the Salamangre cards are in one thing. If you want to play Salamangre, <laughs> if you want to play Salamangre, just literally just get this. Just get like 3,000 gems here. Easy. By the way, 3,000 gems is so easy. It's not like Duel Links. 3,000 gems, boom. You get the whole deck. Easily. Easily. Absolutely. Stalio's at three. Gazelle's at one. Circles at three. This deck is actually legitimately viable. It's legitimately viable. It's like full power Salamangre, basically. So you can get everything very easily. Just get a bunch of packs there. Uh, so we, I've already got through Blazing 42. Let's check out Abyssal Underworld. Abyssal Underworld, you're going to notice, has a lot of zombie cards. You want to play some zombie deck. If you, you want to play a shitty version of Eldritch, then go ahead get some of this. I'm trying to find the Eldritch cards because I know... The majority of the Elish cards are, like, the Golden Lands are rare. So, that's also really awesome. So, over here, we're going to have, uh, we, as we mentioned, the Fairy Tale Snow. Uh, and the Chris L Land that looks uh, stupid, but really the Stromberg. Uh, here, the only thing I personally want is the Snow. So, I'm going to probably just purchase the Snow. Because I don't want to get a whole set just for Snow. This is for Harpies. Duelings players, I'm going to tell you guys right now, okay? Harpies is dog shit. Okay, so just because you guys like Harpies and Duel Links, it's not the same in TCG. Don't waste your money on this, okay? And you get a Harpies Feather Duster for free, I believe. Uh, you get a Monster Reborn, not Feather Duster. Uh, so we're going to keep going. Natural Selection. There's a lot on here. There's a lot on here. So this, you get Verte Anaconda, which Verte Anaconda is going to come out with a multitude of ways in the future. Uh, and you get some cards for Super Poly. Uh, I'd rather just outright get the one Verte. I'm not going to put money into a set if all I want is one card. So far, we've established that for us, we only care about Enchanted Threads of Shade. I think Blazing Fortitude is an incredible budget deck because Blazing Fortitude literally just get a bunch of packs from here and you have your whole Salaman Great deck. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Rulers of Darkness. What is this? 2004? I'm going to play... Hell no. I'm not going to play no, none of this. But they got viruses. So if you want to play a virus deck, you could get this one. So this is good to know. Viruses is in Rulers of Darkness. If you watch this whole video, you're going to know where everything is off by off by heart. You're going to think to yourself, oh, I need to get a fairy tale snow. Oh, I also want to know that I got to get that as well on the same list. Very, very good to, to be watching this to understand what you need. This is uh, basically on a of the of Duel Links. Don't worry about this, all right? This is, again, not Duel Links. These cards are, are extremely bummy. Uh, Gaga Cowboys is the only good card in this whole set. Best card. 
Uh, next, cross-dimensional chaos or contracts. This is DDD, baby. Instantly, I look at this and I could just tell something. I know for a fact right now. I know for a fact right now that if I want to pull this DD deck, I know instantly. I know instantly that if I want to play contract and Kepler, all Thomas, all that with with Electrum. This is a plus three with Electrum, by the way. Normal Kepler. Summon any extender, make Electrum, get the contract, get Thomas, Thomas, get back to Kepler by its own effect, Electrum pop, get one, plus one, plus three, plus three, just like that. So if I want to ever play Didi, I know it's all right here. That's very, 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 very good for me. Uh, next, Moonlit Avian Dance. Lunalite, what the heck? I'm good, but they also have a lot of Lyrilus cards. So Lunalite, you got a uh, Wagtail, and you got some Lyrilus cards. So if you guys want to play Lyrilus, or we want to FTK people with Lyrilus Nightingale, maybe we can look into doing this. But the Panda FTK is legal in, in in this format. So if I want to ever build, all the birds are normal in here, I can just look into here and, and get this. So this is very important to know where everything is, as I said. Uh, next, we're going to go on to the uh, Electron Illusions, where it looks like Altergeist could be built here. Altergeist is what well, Live Twins, wow. Wow, so if you want to ever play Live Twins, which is definitely, this looks very good, because if you get a bunch of this set, you get a whole Altergeist deck as well as a full Live Twin deck. So that's really, really awesome right here. Really awesome. Uh, no Link 4, don't play Live Twins. I take it back then. <laughs> uh, next, so we're going to have Hidden Arts. So in Hidden Arts, we're going to see what everything is in here. A bunch of ninjas, bro. What the heck? I'm not playing no ninjas. The only good cards in this whole set are the two Pendulum ninjas. I'm good. So we're going to pass on that. Uh, the DD box is cross-dimensional contract. I'm already I'm learning so much by looking at all of this. So looking at all of this, uh, you already understand instantly what is there and what you need to get. And we're, not, we're done like maybe a third of the way. PKs. If you want to build PKs, boom. This is it. Right here. PKs. Right here. Right here. More than PKs. PKs and pendulums. Whoa, this has really grabbed my attention. Well, I already purchased two starting venom the hard way, but looking back on this, I might as well just have purchased this. But it's okay. Gate zeros in here too. Dark worm. This is this is awesome. This is awesome. So good to know. PKs and some pendulum cards are in there. Soldiers from the storm. Soldiers from the storm has sign it mining. Access code firewall. Oh my god. Like look no further than all your cybers needs that in here. This is very important. I'm telling you guys, like, don't just, like, randomly craft out a whole deck. You're going to lose so much money from that. And, yes, that's real money, baby. So, here we're going to have, this is speed the Speedroid bit uh, with some cool extra deck. Like, Chris, I don't need no Speedroid stuff. But if you're playing BAs, you got Terra Top Talk of Tomborg on here. That's very awesome. Yeah, I have a free pull on access code packs. I already have access code. But I do have a free pull. So, I think we're going to pull the free pull. Anything that we have a free pull on, we're going to use. Right here. So, we have a free pull on here. So, let's get a free pull. Uh, well, what do you guys want to get? Free pull. Let's, let's get a second access code just to flex. Purchase. You get a free pull as well by, by opening different packs. By opening a card from these packs, I got this from my access code. When I pulled access code from this pack, I was given this key. And sometimes you get a free pull from these. So, sometimes you get some cool stuff. So, let's see exactly uh, what, I, what we're going to get here. So, I would like some nice ultra rare SR. That would be awesome. Ah, oh, no, you are SR. But we got a Vishuda. That's pretty awesome. That's very solid, actually. So this is cool. This is cool. So, you get a, we got some free packs there. That's cool. That's all right. That's all right. Completely free packs. I'll take them. They're completely free. And we got a Vishuda out of nothing. And when, when uh, Sword Salt does come out, it will be insane. So, we're going to go Warp Speed Toys. What is this? Wind-ups? Oh, we already went through. So, Warp Speed Toys is Speedroids. Appliancers. Appliancers. Who in their right mind will ever be looking at this? <laughs> Except for uh, King Scarlet, bro. Appliance your best deck. I'm not ever going to get that, though. Spiritual Mastery. There could be some Pendulum support here because Charmers do kind of go hand-in-hand hand with, with these. Charmers. So this could come... Oh, they really put Dark Doriado in here, huh? So this could come up. If you want to ever... If these extenders... It could come up because... Uh, look at this extra deck. At some point in the future... I can guarantee at some point in the future as the meta changes and evolves, uh, at some point in the future, you guys could play, be playing any single one of these. Hita, Win, Ausa, Area. So this is also a pretty good one in terms of SRs. Lina, uh, pretty solid. Interdimensional Interlope Loopers. Protoss is in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
So Protoss is in here, and that's literally the only good card. See you later to everything else. Uh, so, guys, we are almost... Look at this. Like, this is so beautiful. I'm getting so much great knowledge from here because we're going to... Wow, this set, this one right here is broken. This one, I wish I knew this before. If I knew this set right here existed, I wish I, I, I wish someone could have made this video that I could have watched it. I wish this set, I wish I watched a video like this before I did this. I purchased my Electromite and my Needle Fiber already. Otherwise, I would just get this right now. Dryden Fiber Electrum. I can guarantee you at some point in the future I'm playing every single one of these. <laughs> like, they're absolutely rough. Thoroughblade, all the Zodiac XYZs, Metal Foes, Whip Tail, what? I wish I knew this before. This has the full Metal Foes deck, the full Zodiac deck, Needle Fiber, Electrum, Dryden. Dude, this is one of the best sets. I don't have a free pack. Right here, the best set so far, those who stand against Kings. And for some reason, they put Crystron, Stupid Head, instead of Dryden, Fiber, and Electrum. Wow, that, that is broken. All right, Sword of the Seventh One. Sword of the Seventh One looks like it has some good XYZs. But I wouldn't... No, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't... Don't, don't put money into this. Uh, you, you get nothing. So, so far, uh, the two best sets that we've noticed are those who stand against uh, Kings. I also really like the Zephyr one. So, those two, to me, I'm like, I really want them. I also love the DD one. Those three, I would put money into it instantly. So this is very good to see. Very important to know. Very important to know. So next we go number recall. Definitely numbers. You got Baguska in here. Numeron Network in here. Is Zexel legal? There's no way. No, Zexel's not. Zexel's banned for sure. Zexel has to be banned. Because if Zexel's not banned, Numeron Network is going to instantly be amazing. It has to be banned. Zexel's banned. Thank God. All right. This one has some good ones, but there's better ones out there. Phoenix is probably Fluffle. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Rather than buying all these all these cards by themselves, purchase this set first. Get all your Fluffle cards, and you are golden. Savage Crimson Dragon. This is Resonators. Again, if you're playing dual Scam Links, don't play this. Don't play this. Uh, it's ass. It's super ass. Uh, next, Terra Firma Transcendence. There's definitely all the Immortals, Earthbound Immortals. I I need any of these. I definitely don't need any Earthbound Immortals. What's this look like? Synchro mode. Maybe some cool synchros are in here. I saw a Dino one in there. So if you're playing Dinos, that's an um, incredible... Okay, so don't play this. This one's an ass. Uh, Guardians of Sacred Sky. This here, if you're playing... Okay, so... Ah, uh, Sala... Ah! Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, guys. This is huge. This is huge. This is huge. Okay? I'll tell you why. If you're playing Eldritch, all these Solemns are in here. So if you're playing Eldritch, the argument can be made to start purchasing this after your Eldritch deck's complete to get your Strike and your Judgment. Because you know for a fact you're playing three of each of them and they're all you are, and you get Ariadne in the process. Next, Prehistoric Beast Advance. Let me tell you guys something, alright? Dinos has Misk at three. Who gives a shit if Ovi Raptors at 2? Who cares if Ovi Raptors at 2? This deck is an absolute full power. Misk is at 3. Ovi Raptor at 2 doesn't matter. Ovi Raptor at 2 literally just doesn't matter whatsoever. It changes nothing. You can build full power dino. How? By watching this video and getting this. Lithocycles at 3 and VFDs at 1. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I For any dino player out there, you're welcome. That you just saw that, okay? So, so far, I think, honestly, Dinos is probably the best. If you want to just outright build a deck, just outright build a deck, Prehistoric Beast Advance or the Salamangre. You just get one of those two, you get a Dino deck or a Salamangre deck for very, very budget, very, very good price. The first Heroes. This is probably the ass Heroes. If you want to play a Hero deck, all right, you're definitely going to want... Oh, you're... <laughs> all right, if you want a Hero deck, you get this one. All right, that, that's really good. That's, that's, that's really good for all uh, the Hero Boomers out there. Cyber Dragon Boomers, I'm sure this will help you guys. Wow, okay, this is definitely Cyber... Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, yeah. You, play, you want to play Cyber Dragon, you get a bunch of these. This is very, very helpful. Very, 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 very helpful. Very helpful. Next, Souls of Sublime Gods. I don't even know this card's name. Oh, my God. We're going to have to deal with Benten and Ava. Don't tell me Ava's at three, bro. So, over here, you're going to have... This is all the Cyber Angels where you're going to have Benten. Bro, if... if, if <laughs> 
This is not going to be fun when we get high ranked, bro. So this is all the Chronomalies for everyone. Chronomalies, no one trying to play this is not scam links because Chronomalies are doo-doo. Uh, Ben 10's at 3 with Union Carrier. Great, great, great. Yo, what's up, Mootrapper? Uh, so over here we got, uh, this is Planet Pathfinder. Uh, don't even look at this, ill. Gibbic Puppets, I'm out, that's ass. Uh, Altered Heraldry. Again, nothing important uh, of these. So far, what I got to this point where two-thirds done, I realized that, man, Prehistoric Beast of Rats, the full Dino deck is in here. If you guys are new to Yu-Gi-Oh, this deck is very, very, very noob-friendly. Very noob-friendly. Get a bunch of this. Get Conductor, get Oviraptor, Fossil Dig, Miss The deck plays itself. The deck plays itself. It really does. If you like Cyber Dragons, do the same. Blazing Warriors. So this is where you get some Warriors. This is pretty solid to get, but I, I mean, it's not. Just don't play it. This is for uh, any, This is for people that just uh, see Warrior, yeah, Soldier, Sword, bro. And I uh, don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. Big Sword, you must be a good monster. Don't get that. Galaxy War, uh, Cosmo, this is not 2007. Uh, Miraculous Advent. Don't tell me this is where all the ritual cards are. Of course, Diviner of the Herald. I better see Ava not here. Ava better not be in the existence of this game with three Ben 10 and Union Carrier. All right. So if you want to play Drytron, bro, you can think or any ritual deck, Miraculous Advance, as well as the other. So Gladi this is for Gladiator Beast. This is for Trap Trick. Oh, Dogmas, but Nadir Servant is at one, but this is still good to see. This is for Dogmas, as well as Tri Brigades. So you get Dogma and Tri Brigade in this set. That's awesome. That is huge. That is massive. That is massive. And Tri Brigade is extremely budget, by the way. Tri Brigade is extremely budget. But if you want to play one of those, just get this one. Very, very important. Very important. Uh, Mother's Snare. So this is just a bunch of Trap Trick cards. One thing to note is, as I mentioned in the beginning of the YouTube video, is that uh, not all of these cards will be available to you at the beginning. Eventually, they will show up as you pull these packs from Master Packs. So I highly advise start with the bundles, get master packs, and then once you're done with the bundles, these will start showing up. And you'll use them to get any deck you guys want. Uh, Pledge of Sword. This is the Jack Knight deck. Pretty cool. Pretty solid. Uh, we're going to keep going now. So after the Jack Knight deck, I'm trying to find the Elledge deck. That's what I'm trying to find right now. So Because I know that eventually I'll be purchasing the Elledge deck. So Pledge, Rulers of the Deep. I already saw a pendulum one. I cannot wait to click the astrograph. This is for the water deck. No one's trying to build water. Uh, so after this, you're also going to have shrouded heroes. This is for all the other heroes. They really put all a bunch of heroes in different ones. Uh, Elegy came in the same pack as Altergeist? No way I missed that. No way I missed that. No way. So Altergeist is the live twin one. There's no way I missed it. What what are you, what what are you talking about? We definitely have not crossed any Elish cards so far. There's no way we have not crossed any Elish cards so far. Uh, okay, so uh, damn, you, guys, you guys really just be saying words, huh? So next one, Counter Swing Mages. I want you guys to look at this set. I want you guys to look at this set. If you guys don't want to, you know what? If you guys don't want to invest into the three structure decks, you don't need to. You don't need to. Because you're bound to get some harmonizing, some oaf dragons from this. So if you don't want to invest invest in the structure deck, just invest in this booster set. You're gonna get Astrograph, you're gonna get Chronograph, you're gonna get Pen Called Those Alliance. Honestly, though, I'm looking at this. I would personally prefer that you guys invest in the structure deck, just looking at this. I would personally prefer invest in the structure deck at three of them. And then uh, purchase double iris. Purchase the pendulum graphs that are rares. And then you're good. Purchase Chrono and Astro. Uh, so that just folk, I'd rather you guys purchase a structure deck because the structure deck guarantees you get three of each. It guarantees that you get three of each. Seedling Soul Fay. Uh, yeah, guys, get the structure. Honestly, get the structure deck. Structure deck is yeah. If you're gonna get the structure deck, go, don't get Counter Swing Mages. Get the structure deck and then purchase the Astrograph. I'm gonna assume that the Elish cards are in the cost of Dark Powers. This is my assumption. Featured cards, I stand corrected. They're not here. All right, where are my LH cards? <laughs> Did we really pass them? All right, let's go next to Glacial Seal. 
Glacial Seal. That's where you get all your Trishula Ice Barrier cards. I'm good. We don't need any of those. Elemental Exchanges. Elemental Exchanges where you're going to get a bunch of Gen X cards. I'm definitely there. Never going to see the light of day. I'm never going to touch them. Infinite Void. This is where Into the Void comes in. So this, I already purchased three Into the Void. Wow, Allure also comes in here. Wow, if I knew Allure came in here, I would have purchased this before. Because Allure and Into the Void that I need from here, I didn't need to waste. I could have, it's gone three for one instead. And I get Infinity cards, but that's solid. All right. It's important, I believe, instead of crafting a skeleton of a deck, to go for the actual deck itself in the set that it comes in. And then when you get as much as you can, craft the rest. The last thing I want to mention in this YouTube video is if you don't have the packs unlocked, all you have to do is craft one of them. So you craft a UR or an SR. I did not mention this throughout the video. I did mention it at the beginning of the video, but you click feature cards once you know what's in it. So for example, Scarlet Sanguine, I want to build Elilich. You guys know me, I love Elilich. So we crafted one Scarlet, and as long as you craft an SR plus, so an SR or UR, you unlock the whole set for 24 hours. Then, I know for the next 24 hours, I have access to all of these, specifically a deck building set. So if I want to play Eldritch, I'm literally going to outright just spend all my gems on this set. And then once I get close enough to the engine, I'll just uh, craft the rest. That's the best strategy to do this. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoy your, this YouTube video. And if you got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Make sure to check out the beautiful playmatch of gaming.com. Lastly, 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 Patreon, guys, Patreon. Starting now, there's going to be Patreon videos every single day on Master Duel gameplay tips and tricks. Highly recommend you check it out. I'm devoting my entire Patreon to Master Duel. Every single thing on my Patreon is going to be on Master Duel. If you want to get good at Master Duel, highly, highly, highly advise you sign up. Seven videos a week, baby. Go sign up right now. It'll be highly worth it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys next video. Peace.